So we're in the tank room at the Terry Hoag Vineyard, and as promised, we're going to have a very special little taste of something here. So I want you to check this out, because this is special. Well, you put your glass up here. This is what we do after, after work. After work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, there's, there's mine. There's okay, there okay. we go. We're going to have a little pick. Thank you. All right. Now I know that you, the public, are very jealous right now, but I can tell you that I am in heaven. We are in heaven. Yeah, it's a, it's a basically, uh, it's our blend. So this is just what we, uh, after we decided what the blend was going to be, we put it in here, and I was actually very pleased with the result. You, you never know. You do you know, your samples, and you're doing everything with CCs and all that, and you always think, oh yeah, I've got it, I've got it, and then you put it together, and it's, it's like doing any project until it's finished you're not really sure if it's good or not. Um, after we put it in the tank, I was very pleased. I was like, wow. <laughs> Jennifer, what I noticed, this has more caramel. It's a little bit sweeter on the nose. Has I haven't tasted sweet, it. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Has that kind of sweet tobacco taste right. smell to it. The floral component, I, I smell that face powder. Exactly. Yeah. Face powder. Face powder. Yeah. That's what it smells like to me. Wow. So mm -hmm. uh, we're in the tank, mm -hmm. and this is after the barrel. It goes to the bottle after this. Mm -hmm. You have the 18-wheeler come. And exactly. We have an 18-wheeler. 18, 18 mm -hmm. He pulls up outside. We hook him up to electric, to water. Um, he gets all set up. We feed in empty glass, labels, cork, foil, and we hook a hose up to his truck. We pump the wine into his truck, and he spits out finished cases of wine. Of Label. Terry Hogue wine. Mm -hmm. Of Terry Hogue wine. Exactly. Label it's wine. Pretty cool. right. And all of this bottling process happens on the rig, on the 18-wheeler. Right? Yeah. On the 18-wheeler. And cool. it comes out the other end, they drop you the cases, bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. find a place for them here in the wine. Right. Mm. Uh, do you store everything here at the at, on site? We store our entire, for now, we store our entire production here on site. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, basically we have that luxury because we sell out every year. Right. So by the time our next vintage is coming in, we're sold out mm -hmm. of our previous vintage, uh -huh. so we have room. Uh, I hope that always continues. Right. Um, <laughs> but uh, we we do store everything on property. Uh, we're 100% estate. I mean, right. everything that happens with our wines happens because of Jennifer and myself. Mm -hmm. and it happens mm -hmm. on our property. That's right. beautiful. That's beautiful. So, uh, speaking of that, I had a question for you. How does it feel uh, being uh, vintners together? I mean, how does that impact your relationship? How does that impact your marriage? <laughs> I know it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, well, it's a personal question. <laughs> She's a very forgiving woman, uh -huh. and she hates me 90% of the time, but the other 10% no, of the other ten percent of time she makes up. We both have a pretty strong opinion of what things have to happen and what, We're both you know, type A personalities. We are, uh -huh. and so we do have some arguments sometimes. Right. Um, but and I don't think we've ever said we're sorry. No, we don't ever say. That's one thing we've never said, which is really <laughs> sad. You know, it's really yeah, sad. Being married, you don't have to say you're sorry. <laughs> that's not true. That's, that's not an attitude. Goes. Goes. That, well, that's an attitude. That's an attitude. No, 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 no. So, anyway, yeah. so next question. Uh, again, coming from an NFL background, you came from an interior design, in fact, a food industry, mm -hmm. hospitality Earlier, background, right. journalism, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Uh, how did that, uh, your backgrounds, your separate backgrounds, affect how you approached uh, the the aspect of farming and winemaking. Did it set you up? Did it prepare you for something? Or <laughs> no, I think I, you know, I think individually we would both have holes in our abilities, mm -hmm. but as a team, we make one complete winemaker. Mm -hmm. uh, I come from a background of science, um, so I'm based in the empirical. Mm -hmm. we've, we've had that discussion. Um, I'm based in, in in real life in kind of the scientific aspect of how things are going to happen. Jennifer is comes from the artistic side, the the palette, um, you know, the things that you can't really learn, mm -hmm. the things that you're kind of born with. And yeah, mine's all feeling. Yeah, well, it's quite the feminine side, in fact. Yeah. You know. I just well, have a feeling about something, or I or he'll ask me why I think something. I go, I don't know why. I just think that, and it, and he goes, because you've got to give me more than just I think that. And I'm like, I don't know the reason, but I. Don't just think it. I know it. You know, yeah. I know what it should be, and so we often have little arguments over that. But for the most part, once I'm able to verbalize right. <laughs> my artistic <laughs> side, then he um, he starts to say, "Okay, now that's that really makes sense." Well, and, uh, you, you know, I mean, your profession, what you're doing as winemakers, uh, enables you to be a couple, also in a way, as as well as being a couple enables you to be a couple. Your right. profession 
actually plays a part in that also. I think that's a wonderful symbiosis. I don't, you know, I don't know that there'd be many. I feel extremely fortunate, and I'm not going for brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel extremely fortunate to be married to Jennifer because, you know, we do have knockdown dragouts. I mean, we, we do come from stylistically opposing places. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, we have to resolve all of that and find the thing that's going to express our business, our wines, you know, what we're producing the best. Because, you know, ultimately, we both want our wines to be held at the highest standard. Right. right. And uh, so we, you know, she's an, a, an amazingly forgiving woman because we, we're, we're able to fight it out and find that. That balance and it's a, it's a really cool thing. I don't know that mm. many people. No, there's not many people that could do this. I mean, it, very, is, it is definitely dip, difficult. You know, it's sort of a, your wine, your product is a manifest expression of your relationship. In fact, yeah, there's you know. his and hers, and yeah. there's the you know, there's all that. Exactly. And then there's that little marriage in the middle. It's, it's, <laughs> if you're looking forward to a to a tasting of a of a wine, and now you've seen the background of this couple, and you've uh, you've learned a bit about who they are, where they're coming from, uh, uh, how they purport their wine, how they, how they believe in what they're doing. This wine is a, it's a wonderful thing to taste. You taste their relationship and I think that that's, for me it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful experience. It's a great experience. Well, I you. compliment you in the most highest form.